Hey everyone, today we will see system requirements to install Exchange Server 2016. First, we will see server role in Exchange Server 2016. We will see what server role can be installed in Exchange Server 2016. Next, we will see memory requirement and server requirement for installing Exchange Server 2016. Next, we will see steps for installing Exchange Server 2016. In the last, we will see Exchange 2016 post installation task. First, we will see server role in Exchange Server 2016. So in Exchange Server 2016, two server role can be installed, the mailbox server role and the age transport server role. In Exchange 2010, there was five server role need to install. In Exchange Server 2013, three server role need to install. And in Exchange Server 2016, we need only two server role need to install. Here in all exchange version, the age transport server role is optional for your organization. And it depends on your requirement, like whether you want to install this role or not. This age transport server role provide anti-spam and antivirus functionality for your emails. In Exchange 2016, the mailbox server role perform all the functionality of client access server role the hub transport server role and unified messaging server role as well, which was there in the previous version of Exchange Server. To check more detail about server role in Exchange 2016, please check my separate video on it. The link is in the I button and I have provided the link in the description box as well. Now we will see memory requirement to install Exchange 2016. To install mailbox server role, we need minimum 8 GB of RAM and 30 GB of hard disk. And if you are planning to host user mailboxes on on-premises and you want to save all the log file on on-premises action server only, then you have to add more memory. To install age transport server role, we, we need minimum 4 GB of RAM and minimum 20 GB of hard disk. The file format supported is NTFS. The minimum required processor is of 64-bit processor. It is recommended to have minimum 20% free disk space should be available on disk drive where the mailbox database is hosted. Let's say if you are hosting user mailboxes on on-premises, this requirement should be met or else the mailbox database will get dismounted. So these are the minimum requirement to install Exchange 2016. If these minimum requirement are not there, then there will be a performance issue will happen on the Exchange server. We need to have this requirement met or we have to add more memory and CPU for better performance. Now we will see operating system requirement to install Exchange 2016. The Exchange 2016 can be installed on this Windows Server. The minimum operating system requirement or Windows Server requirement is Windows Server 2012 standard or data center. And we can install the Exchange 2016 up to Windows Server 2016 standard or data center version. I would prefer to install the Exchange Server 2016 on Windows Server 2016. So these are the supported Windows version where we can install the Exchange 2016. So these are the two non-supported scenario. We cannot install Exchange 2016 application on Windows Server 2019 because it is not supported and will not able to install the Exchange 2016 on Windows Server 2019. And installation of Exchange 2016 on computer that is running Windows Server Core or nano version is not supported from Microsoft. Next, we will see supported Active Directory environment that Exchange 2016 can communicate with. Your existing Active Directory forest function level should be on minimum Windows Server 2008 R2 and Exchange 2016 can communicate if your Active Directory 
is on Windows Server 2019 as well. Your Active Directory play a very important role with Exchange application because your Exchange Server is tightly integrated with your Active Directory environment. These are the two non-supported scenario. The first is coexistence with Exchange 2007 and earlier version is not supported. Let's say you have Exchange Server 2007 is already installed in your environment. Then you cannot install Exchange 2016. First, you have to install the Exchange Server 2010 in your environment and migrate all the details from Exchange Server 2007 to Exchange Server 2010 and decommission your older Exchange Server 2007 and then only you can introduce new Exchange Server 2016. And Outlook 2003 and Outlook 2007 client version is not supported for users who are hosted on Action Server 2016. So these are the Windows Server requirement for Active Directory Forest function level for Action Server 2016. Next we will see prerequisites for installing Action Server 2016. So these are the prerequisites required to install mailbox server role. Now here we need to install these software on Windows Server on which we are going to install the Exchange 2016. And we need these Windows component as well to be installed on the Windows Server. After running these two commands, all the required Windows component will get installed. And we need to download these first four software from below URL Exchange 2016 prerequisites. After installing these Windows component and software, we need to restart the server. So these are the mandatory prerequisites for installing the mailbox server role. Now we will see required prerequisites for installing Edge transport server role. We just need these two software and this Windows component as this server role is installed on non-domain join machine. We don't need other Windows component. You can download the software from this URL and more details are available on this URL, the Exchange 2016 prerequisites. Now these all ports are required to open in Microsoft Exchange Server 2016 for better communication and not to have any performance issue from Exchange side. Next is supported email client for Exchange Server 2016. The Exchange Server 2016 support these type of Outlook clients. Next we will see some of the best practices for Exchange Server 2016. So before installing Exchange 2016 for the first time, we recommend that you need to install in test environment. With this approach, we can reduce the risk in our production environment and we can test all the details that we need or that we want in the test environment. And the test environment will act as proof of concept for our new Action Server 2016. If you are planning to install Action Server 2016 on your existing directory server or where your Active Directory role is installed, then it is not recommended from Microsoft side. Like it is not recommended to install the Exchange application on the domain controller. You need to install the Exchange Server 2016 on different Windows server and the Active Directory or the domain controller on separate Windows server. The reason it is not recommended because let's say if you are planning to perform any activity on Active Directory and if we need to restart the server or shut down the server for some time then that change will also affect on your exchange 2016 as well if you still install the exchange 2016 on domain controller you will face issue with the exchange services and with the exchange permissions as well and once the exchange server is installed we cannot change its installation path Let's say you have installed the Exchange, Exchange 2016 under C drive 
and after successful installation you cannot change the path of exchange installation to some other drive like the d drive or e drive the exchange installation path will remain same now these are some of the post installation tasks that we need to follow after installing exchange first we have to apply the product key a product key tells exchange server 2016 that you have purchased the standard or the enterprise edition license to check more detail about this standard or enterprise edition please check my separate video the link is in i button and i have provided the link in the description box as well next we have to configure the mail flow and client access in this step you have to configure the send connector and the receive connector for your email flow and for client connectivity like outlook or active sync devices you have to configure the virtual directories and certificates on action server 2016 next we have to verify an exchange 2016 installation there are multiple ways to verify the exchange 2016 is correctly installed or not we can run the command get have an exchange server in the exchange management shell and we can check for the output in the output we will check for the build version and we can verify the correct community update is installed or not next we can verify the all microsoft exchange related services should be in running state all the server component should be in active state on the exchange server and we can open the exchange setup log and we can verify the all the logs of exchange 2016 installation we can send send receive the test email and we can confirm if we, if the email flow is working or not next is install the exchange management tools now these exchange management tools are automatically get installed when you install the exchange in unattended mode and if you install the exchange with graphical user interface or with gui you have to select the option to install the exchange management tools next is configure instant messaging integration with outlook on the web in exchange in this step you have to configure the instant messaging integration between your skype for business server and your outlook on web app in exchange 2016 next is change the offline address book generation schedule in exchange so the offline address book or oab is a copy of an address book that has been downloaded so that uh, the outlook user can access the information it contain while disconnected from the server by default a new oab is generated every 8 hour in exchange server 2016 and in exchange server 2019 but you can change the interval from the exchange management shell next next is configure certificate based authentication in exchange 2016 certificate based authentication in exchange allows the oa and exchange active sync clients to be authenticated by the client certificate instead of entering a username and password last is age subscription to establish internet mail through on age transport server we need to subscribe the age transport server to an active directory site this will automatically create two send connector required for internet email flow if you don't want to subscribe the age transport server in an active directory site then we can create the send connector manually to establish mail flow between your mailbox server and the age transport server now this is all about the system requirement for installing action server 2016 We will cover the Exchange 2016 installation practically in another video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section. And finally, thanks for watching.